What if I told you that one query could actually be running 39 times under the hood? Yeah, welcome to the M plus one problem. Hey everybody, and welcome back to the Did You Know MVP series, where we're spotlighting the brilliant solutions that our MVPs are sharing with the community every single day. This time, we're featuring Sasha Namjashi, who's presenting a tip on improving graphical style query performance in ServiceNow. If you've ever struggled with related list lookups slowing down your instance, this one's for you. Now you might remember a recent Did You Know where we talked about using RL query and add join query and ways to cut down on extra queries. Those are really great approaches to solving the M plus one problem. And today, Sashin is adding yet another technique to your tool belt. So whether it's RL query or add join query or now Sashin's data loader pattern, you've got some really great ways to squash that N plus one problem. Let's take a look at how Sashin puts it into action. Take it away. So today I will be presenting a short solution to implement a GraphQL implementation in your server-side scripts includes. So the use case is you want to return list of incidents and their associated callers and name and email. So this is pretty standard query. So most of the developers will end up in dot walking the user table for getting callers name and email to find this data. But this is not the most efficient approach to achieve this outcome because it depends on the size of your data, you will end up querying both incident and user table and this will cause performance issues if you are leading, dealing with large data. So to resolve this, we can implement a data loader like pattern by creating a script include like this, which I had done for the sake of demo. And then we can call this server side script include from any of the server side objects which we can utilize. So what I did is I have created a script include on my personal instance, which implements this pattern. So I will go through the details of this script include. So first, what it does is it's very simple. This is all standard function where we can give the limit of how much data you want. So I'm using incident table and I want to, for example, get the data for 50 incidents. And then what happens is it's going to call a couple of functions in this script include. So the batching part or the data loading part where magic happens is the batch patch users function where you are going to prevent this n plus one queries based on your requirements. So in this case, if you see it's querying the user record, but it is batching the user ID and then returning the data for name and email based on the batch or cache or data. And then this is the function which will be getting called, which is going to return the data for incidents and their caller. And it is going to use the cache data, which was returned from the previous function, which I was talking about. And this is again, nice to have function. Like once you have the data for the users, the cache data, you don't want to store that data. And then you can clear the cache using this existing function. And then this function basically tells you about uh, what are the cache statistics for monitoring. Uh, if you really want to monitor the performance of the script include. So I will execute this script include in a background script. So if you see, I'm just, I just created a sample background script to call this script include because I want to see what's the performance and I want to check like when I query 50 incidents, for example, how is the performance look like versus the traditional approach. So I'm just going to run this script. And then if you see the script is completed and it has 50 incidents and it has 20 unique callers. And these are the CSIDs of these callers. And it has data collected data for 39 incidents. And if you see, this is a sample result which will show you there are so many incidents for the same user, so for the same caller, the like Joe employee. And here, if you see, I have printed the performance. So the traditional approach, which will take like 39 queries because we got the data for 39 incidents here. But if you use this approach, the data loader approach, it, it will be like just one batch query. And then the efficiency improvement will be like tremendous. Not bad, huh? That results in massive performance gains. And in Sashin's example, the traditional method ran 39 queries, while the data loader approach handled it in just one. And if you want to dive deeper, see the code, the batching logic, and all the details, Sashin has an accompanying blog post that I'll drop the link to in the description so that you can check it out after this video. Now, this is just one example of the knowledge being shared every day by our developer community. So huge thanks to Sashin for contributing this solution. And if you want more insights straight from our community, make sure that you subscribe so you don't miss the next one. We'll see you next time.